hello guys and um, welcome back to my youtube channel um so for a while now, i've been putting out some videos um about very basic mathematical concepts that um every student ought to know um yeah so in this video i'm going to talking about prime factors of whole numbers so just for a quick recap um i've treated the topic of factors the concept and vocabulary of factors and i've treated um multiples of whole numbers and in this video we're going to be um looking at pr um, prime factors so what are prime factors so for us to really understand the definition of prime factors we have to break this thing down into prime number and factors okay um if you watch the previous video if you haven't watched it, i'll put a link but if you watch the previous video a factor is simply a number that can go into another number seamlessly and what that means is that it's a number that can divide another number without leaving a remainder okay it can divide without leaving a remainder Okay, that's what a factor is. Now, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that can um, that can only be divisible by one and itself. So numbers like thirteen, numbers like seven, numbers like five, numbers like eleven, um, numbers like twenty-three. These kind of numbers can only only be divisible by one and themselves okay so they don't have any other factors there so what are prime factors we have to combine these two together so prime factors are simply factors of a particular number that are prime numbers okay so factors of a particular number that are prime numbers let's say for example i have a number y and then y has some factors of x z b c and d not all the factors of y would actually be prime numbers but those ones that are prime numbers let's say z and c will be referred to as prime factors of y okay that's the idea they refer to as prime factors of why so you see questions like find the prime factors of certain numbers and that is exactly the kind of question we're going to tackle right now so this question says identify the prime factors of the following numbers now you cannot get the prime factors of a particular number if you do not first get all the factors of that particular number so let's start by writing out the factors of all these numbers the factors of six are two and three two times three is six and <laughs> nothing more i'm sorry and six itself right can even put one to start the factors of 15 are one two cannot go in 15 but three can go in 15 um five can go in 15 and 15 itself right the factors of 21 we have one we have three we have seven we have 21 the factors of 32 we have one we have two um we have four we have um six Sorry, not six, we have eight, right? We have 16 and we have 32 themselves. Now, usually um, when people solve these questions, they kind of just omit one from there because one is, um, is not a prime number, okay? One is not a prime number. However, two is a prime number, okay? Three is a prime number. So two and three are prime factors of what? Of this number, okay? Now, the last value cannot be a prime number. Why? The last value is the value itself okay so that means that last number is not possible for it to be um a prime number because all these values are divisible in it don't forget that okay so so if you consider 15 now what um are the prime in fact two the two factors of 15 are prime factors because they are prime numbers the two factors of these numbers are prime numbers two is a prime number four is not a prime number eight is not a prime number and 16 is not a prime number so the prime factors of 16 of six are two and three the prime factors of 15 are three and five the prime factors of 21 are three and seven and the prime factors of 32 is just two so let's tackle one more example and um, we'll call it a day so this question says complete the table below so um on this side of the table you have the numbers here we have the factors, all the factors, all the possible factors of this number. And then here we are supposed to write out the prime factors, okay? So this is similar to the question we just saw, just that we have it on a table here. So first of all, let's write out the factors of 24. 1, 2, this is an even number. So I know that 2 is a factor. 3 is also a factor because 3 times it is 24. 
4 is also a factor 4 times 6 is 24 after this we should have 6 um 8 12 and 24 itself okay so if you do not yet understand how to get factors please refer to my video um on factors now let's write out the factors of 29 29 <laughs> looks like um a prime number does it not so 29 is a prime number that means that only one and itself are the factors of it right and then 30 we have a lot more we have one we have two we have three we don't have four we don't we have five we have six then we have um 10 we have um 15 and we have 30 itself okay now two is a prime number is it not so that means that two is a prime factor of 24 three is a prime number now none of the rest are prime numbers now here this value is only 29 that because 29 is a prime number right so it's only 29 that is a prime factor of 29 because 29 in itself is a prime number. Now, among um, the factors of 30, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, and 5 is a prime number. But that's, that's just it. It doesn't go more than that. 6 is not a prime number, 10 is not, 15 is not, and 30 is not. Okay? So, um, that's all the examples we'll be doing for this tutorial. Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next videos. By the way, here are some practice questions that you can do um, just to further familiarize yourself with this concept. Bye.